before. 2005, I probably, sorry. I probably knew about it by like 2006 because uh, I am I am from Vancouver, so uh, it shoots around town, mm-hmm. and uh, you know I've been acting for a long time, so a lot of friends had been on it or they had small parts on it, so you know I was aware of its existence for over 10 years, I guess. Yeah. have a mentality if you're dead um, <laughs> yeah I don't actually I don't know yet I don't know it's the honest answer uh, I'm more so looking at it from how Jack can be useful to you know help drive the Winchesters towards the end of their story so that's kind of how I'm approaching it. Jack was approached by some pretty big cosmic entities at the end of last season what can you tease about how he might react to them or like is he going to sort of be like no I have to be back it might be cooperate hmm. you can't. well I think we've seen that Jack is easily swayed due to his uh, gullibility but I think there might be a reluctance this time to maybe go back right away just because he knows the damage that he's capable of on the other hand I think Jack you know always wants the Winchesters to be okay and succeed so you know hopefully be a part of that does he harbor ill will after what happened at the end of last year? The last I think season? we saw that he didn't I mean Jack was very accepting of his own fate he wasn't uh, he wasn't fighting he wasn't complaining he wasn't like you know building resentment he was just you know he knew that it had gone too far and I think that's kind of where he that's why he did what he did why he gave himself up what has it been like for you coming into the show and now finishing the show with the past? What has it been like for you personally? Um, for me, it's not emotional yet. It was a little emotional today. Um, but thankfully, I have the next year to process it, <laughs> to kind of work on it every day. Uh, yeah, it's going to be sad when, when the show ends, but at the same time, I think knowing that there's a destination in mind is better than kind of being left or just like not really fully planning it out, you know. So I guess we're lucky to know that there is a finality to it, so we can plan for it. You know, plan for all the emotions too. <laughs> Do you know the ending yet? <laughs> is there an ending that you'd like for your character or that you feel like would be apropos? I have an idea of what the ending, where they're headed. Um, I don't know what Jack's ending is. Uh, I really hope that all the characters, I feel like they've all just been through so much trauma. Uh, I just really want them to find some peace. So, you know, if that's us in Maui, that's fine. You know, <laughs> that, if we have to go to Hawaii, like, I'll do it. It's fine. Uh, yeah, just some, some peace would be nice. Yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any kind of final uh, plans, like when you when you get that last script, um, just a plan of how you're going to read it and absorb it and prepare for the end? Like, are you thinking that far ahead yet? Or? Definitely. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not thinking that far ahead. Uh, we have we have a lot. We have so much work to do before <laughs> before that time comes. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I usually I read all the scripts like solo, so mm-hmm. they'll probably be in my apartment um, in solo. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it's too it's too far away from me. I think. Yeah. Is Jack dealing with any kind of residual issues about Lucifer? I mean, I think constantly. It's it's the I think the relationship that he struggled with the most. Um, I had such a great time this last season just because I really got to work with Mark on like anytime I can like have a four minute scene with Mark I'm thrilled just because he's such a great actor and to work with him is just like exciting. Um, so uh, yeah I loved how much the, the, the father issues really just loomed on him. Uh, so I think that'll always be a problem for him. Jack did accept that he was a Winchester so he does have family but there's definitely this uh, vacant hole that his dad has left in him so yeah I think that'll always be a part of it. Will we get to see any, we've seen a lot of heavy stuff with Jack, will we get to see any lighter moments in 
know it's kind of hard going into a final season considering the circumstances. But it is supernatural though. So there is always these like lighter moments and there's always these little opportunities to have a quick laugh even though there's these characters are going through so much. Uh, yeah. That's what I do like that about the show that like sometimes I'll get to have like a goofier episode or some of my favorite episodes are when like, you know, Jack makes new friends or like Jack has the awkward sex talk. Like I just love those moments just because they're so fun to play and you know, it's not all doom and gloom, you know. Yeah. In looking back, is there maybe a favorite season or an episode just as a fan of the show that you enjoyed the most? Uh, that I was in or just that in general? Either, yeah. Uh, I really like the French mistake. I know that's like such a common one, but like anytime there's like meta characters, I just find it hilarious. I really wanted like one more meta episode so I could have a meta thing, but probably not gonna happen. So they, they hinted that there was still time to write that. So cross I mean, your fingers. I want like a curb your enthusiasm version <laughs> of supernatural. <laughs> you know? Huh. Pitch it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, that'd be fun. They can't get dinner reservations, or <laughs> Jack makes it like a hilarious social faux pas. Or, you know. Very simple. Super simple. Yeah. Well, hopefully our finale. Actually, I did like the. I didn't mind the Seinfeld finale. I think there's a lot of finales that are very debated, but yeah, hopefully ours uh, doesn't get the Game of Thrones treatment. So we'll see next year. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.